Hello everyone, welcome back to the workshop. So today I am going to be finishing up this little copper heart. Now, I'm doing this extra little bit here. You said, well Roy, weren't you done with the original decoration? And no, I am not. I've wanted to take and do just a little added bonus, uh, you know, for that, just to make it just a little extra special, you know, give it that little extra something. Now, it would have been fine doing it just the way that it was, but I just figured I'd do a little hand engraving here and show everybody how you can take and have that done and, uh, you know, make it make it nice for yourself. Now, if you're wondering about this little contraption I'm setting up here, uh, this is uh, like an engraving jig, if you will. Uh, that's kind of what you could call it. It's kind of like an engraving jig. It's really just to kind of help hold the thing in place. So this way it doesn't do too much skating around and whatnot. And I'll have to get a little wrench to tighten this up. But that's basically what this thing is. It's a pretty basic little pretty basic little setup here. It's just meant to take and hold some stuff in place so it doesn't just slip all around. It's kind of made so this way you don't have to hold uh, try to hold and lock this into the vise. It's very difficult sometimes to actually grip stuff like this in the vise. So that's where something like this really comes in really 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 does come in handy and uh, you know I did a whole video I'll try to put a link in the description on this thing uh, you know this is probably the first time I've used it since I've actually made it to be 100% honest with you and transparent uh, not simply because it's not handy it's just a lot of times I forget even that I have it now that I do have it so I'm gonna do a very basic thing today I wanna just write uh, I love you and then like forever and that's what I'm going to be engraving so let me get my gravers and we can begin so this is a fairly long long video for those of you that want to skip ahead that is perfectly fine all I'm trying to do is show you guys some extra things that you can do to make it extra neat on yourselves so I'm going to use my left hand. I'm going to try to use my off hand here. Try to use my left hand to take and engrave the I and then the love and the you part. So, so here we go. This doesn't have to be right up straight or anything. We're just trying to we're just trying to make a, an impressive statement. And something like this definitely can do that. So we're gonna go very decorative with this, if we can. So that's what I, that's my uh, attempt with the eye portion. Now, one thing about engraving copper is this is uh, this is actually really easy. So unlike steel. You kind of got to really mind yourself. Don't get too carried away with your angle or the pitch of your graver. Because it's real easy to get overly zealous with it and go too far. And I may have went a little too far with that actually, but hey. Doesn't matter. It's the thought that counts, right? So we're just going to keep cutting with our little graver here. You want to use downward pressure. And I might not get forever in here. I've probably made this letter too big, just to be honest with you. Um, you want to use downward pressure. You don't want to push into the tip of the cut. You want to just hold pressure down on the graver and then give nice even taps to go with it, okay? And that's how it is. So I will go get that cut out. An extra little bit there. And there you have it. So we're laying down our lines a little bit at a time. And now I'm gonna have to extend this up a little bit. And that's okay. That way it looks a little more 
like an eye before I put in my cross line and I may just have to reset this and uh, come back to it so So I'm just freehanding this whole thing. It would be better and more advisable, by the way, instead of freehanding, which is hard to keep things square and plumb and true, it would be a lot more advisable if you're going to do this for someone to take in, go ahead and draw it all out and scribe it all out long before you get going. I was just trying to take and just show you some of the extra little bit that you could do. I was just doing this on the fly. But yeah, so pretty much we're just going to continue on just like this. For all the other letters that are in the deal here. Cut our chunks. Don't worry about coming out and scratching it because we're going to have to clean it all down anyhow. So it's not really that big of a deal. And as you can see, I'm starting to hit this upper bracket. So we're going to have to stop that there and I'll continue cutting on that later. And so I think I'm going to, instead of write the love, I think I'm just going to make a heart. You know, just a... Uh, Make it a little more simple. I'll get the start or the V of the heart started. And on something like this, it is perfectly okay to do some design changes along the way. You know, uh, if it's not if it's not super critical, make those changes as you see fit. You know, that you don't have to make, if you're making this for a loved one, they're probably gonna love it regardless. So don't get discouraged if it's not quite what you are wanting. If it's not quite what you are looking for, you just, you know, do it anyhow and give it anyhow. I'm pretty sure they'll be happy to have it. So I keep stepping into my light there. It's kind of hard to manage that in the... and the engraving tool and film it all at the same time. So, yeah, we just continue on on trucking with this. So what I'll do is, I think I'll probably, I will, probably at this point in time, I'll probably clip out after I get this inner portion of this heart done. I'm making it a double, like a double portion. That's why this looks so small compared to this. This is going to be a lot bigger. And then, uh, you know, then I'll put a U down here. But we are going to we will clip out here for a moment and I'll come back to you after I get this inner portion done and then we will continue on with the rest of this process. Okay, so now that we've got this done pretty much, I got that done. Now I'm going to start on the outer rung or the outside portion. I also flipped this heart upside down for obvious reasons. I couldn't get access to this top portion very effectively. So I needed to take and do, I needed to clamp it upside down so this way I could work and get access to the parts I needed. So that's what we're working on now. Now that we've got access to what we're needing. 
like I said, it would have probably been better if I would have scribed this all out. I could have kept everything nice and even. But, there you are. There you have it. This is where we're at. So, we're just going to, we're just going to go with it. It's not ideal, but we're going to see what we can do. Regardless. Here we go. This will come off. There we go. So now I'll do the same thing. I'm just gonna come back around here. To use this hand instead. Maybe I can stay out of the camera view and not cover up all the your guys' view of this thing. Getting it cut, starting the cut that way. Now this is where I really, this is where a, a graver's vise would really come in handy, because you can just kind of unlock and relock the ball wherever you want. It's kind of like on a a bit of a ball. You mount your stuff to it, but then you use the. Uh, it's like just like a clamp, so. Not only do you mount to it, but then you you can adjust it to whatever pitch or angle you need to work on the fly. And it's a very nice. Ted, you see I'm not doing a very good job of this at all. But that's okay. Just kind of on a rush. Job and trying to get it done before my lunch is ready, which is probably already ready. And maybe that's why I'm doing such a horrible job with this. There you go, that cut out. Anyways, hearts don't have to be perfect, just as long as they're not broken. So, there you go. So, I got I heart obviously on a heart, and then the last but not least, we'll be making kind of a decorative U back here. So we're just going to do a real basic, try to aim for the center. Hopefully we can get a really nice radius here in the bottom. Now this is a very tricky thing to take and do when You've got a camera sitting right in your way. Not making excuses for the poor quality of the work being done. It just, it definitely does not lend itself very nicely at all to good work. <laughs> so worrying about lighting and whether you guys can see and things like that uh, takes precedence over the work getting done and then you lose focus and when you're engraving on something like this you can lose focus pretty quick and easy and losing that focus even for a couple seconds is the difference between having to do it all over again or having it done right the first time you guys will be looking at my hand here for a second. No other way around it. No two ways about it to get that little U done there. And now I'm going to see if I can't uh, carve it around the other side. Make the U come back the other way. So you can see this engraving can be fun. Now, for those of you that are curious, I do have videos while I'm doing this, if you've made it this far in this video. I do have videos of how to make these little engravers, and I also have videos of how I made the heart. I have the complete series. So, go check them out if you get the chance. So, that's as far as I'm going to go with it. Just wanted to take a show, everybody. Another thing that you could do with it, uh, right now this looks kind of really unimpressive <laughs> for the most part. But uh, 
you know, you can add as much flourishment to it as you want, spend as much time as you would like or need on this thing, and uh, make it as pretty as you like for your loved one. So, anyways, that's it for today. I hope everybody enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like and a thumbs up. And before I go, just one last thing to mention. This is all going to get prettied up again with a little bit of sandpaper. I'm going to sand this all down, and then this will get colored at a later date. I'll just color it all up, and I'll try to put a finished photo here right after I'm done talking. So thank you all for watching this video. If you liked it, give it that big thumbs up. And like I always say, God bless you, and we will catch you on the next one.